Hello everyone, in this video today I'm going to talk to you about online mRNA design tools. So mRNA must be engineered for its therapeutic application. The tool that I'm going to talk today is mRNA ID. This is an open source platform for therapeutic mRNA design and optimization. The link for which I have provided in the description of this video. When you click on the link that I provided in the description, uh, this kind of window will pop up for the mRNA ID, a open source platform. So then, so what you have to do here, it says that we have to put five prime flanking sequence. So here in this part, you will, we will have to put five prime untranslated region. And there comes another, this part here, we have to put coding sequence. So here we can put coding sequence, or we can also simply drag the file to this area to upload FASTA file from it. Okay, so here you put 5 prime on translated reason and here you have to put uh, the coding sequence. Then after that, uh, we have here the in this area here we have to put uh, 3 prime uh, flanking sequence of your target mRNA, of your mRNA that you want to design, right? Then we have optimization parameters. So uh, one is codon uses, for example, which, 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 which from which organism the, um, the mRNA is from. So if it is from human, so we want to use human codons. So then you, you have to select Homo sapiens. And then there are so many other different options uh, for the optimization of mRNA molecule. So one of them is uridine deple depletion. If you want to do uridine depletion, then you can click on this. If not, you can leave it as such and mass dinucleotides uses. So for the details, you can read here. So we, we here, actually, with the help of this, you can adjust the uses of nucleotide pairs in a sequence in a way that frequencies of these pa pairs are as close as possible to the frequencies in Homo sapiens. Codon pair, mass codon pair uses a CAI optimization, use more precise FME, M MFE estimation. So it means optimization algorithm is based on stem loop prediction algorithm, okay? And there are more options that, okay, so you can also avoid motifs. If you want to avoid some motifs, then you can put he, them here, which motifs, ACCI, AFI, these uh, different kinds of motifs uh, you can select. And then you can also select the GC content. So how much minimum you want to have, 30% and maximum 70%, okay? And then, and the other options are like window window size for local GC content. So the objective of this is to keep the GC content as close as possible to the region specified in the global GC content. Okay, and entropy window size and number of sequences. So how many sequences you want to have? For example, you put one, you give one, uh, you, you feed one mRNA a sequence mm, together with five prime and three prime UDRs then the final results and it will give you you know several results then it, it is like how many results you want to see uh, so here the number i have selected is 10 if you want to see only three you can also select three it's totally up to you okay so uh, for the purpose of demonstration what i'm going to do i'm going to use the example sequence okay i'm going to use the example sequence so i selected examples so now you can see that here in the five prime planking sequence we have this uh, sequence already pasted and this is our coding sequence this is our 3 prime UTR and optimization parameters is human and uridine uh, depletion has been selected CAI optimization has been selected and number of sequences how many we want it's, it's selected three okay then after you do that then you have to click on submit okay submit is here so you click on submit Right, and then it takes some time. So now it's computation in progress. As you can see that now we got the results. So this is output one, output, you see, this is output two, we will see now. And this is output three. Okay, so we have basically three outputs, okay. I'm just gonna go through uh, first one of like the output one. So what we see, what we see, the DNA sequence is there. And then, um, so what? Uh, so the end sequence is there, and it also gives corresponding. Uh, if you go down, so that's the structure. You can see here that this is the uh, structure, uh, secondary structure, 
and there is a DNA sequence and it also gives MFA distribution so what is the distribution and this is the RNA sequence here and furthermore this 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 much information and there are different parameters G ratio CAI MFA ratio and so on okay so this is for output 1 and we see the similar uh, values for output 2 if I click on output 2 uh, so you can see this is the secondary structure and this is the DNA sequence and if I go further down if I go further down um, I, I, I see that uh, uh, so th th this is the MFA distribution RNA sequence and these are different parameters and let's also go through the uh, output number 3 so output number 3 is this is the secondary structure DNA sequence is here and our mRNA RNA sequence um, is uh, down below so just go a little bit down this is the RNA sequence and these are the different parameters so guys it's very easy you just need to do with, with this tool this is an open source freely available platform and what you have to do is that you just need to put uh, 5 prime UTR sequence 3 prime UTR sequence and your coding sequence of the mRNA and you will get optimized RNA, RNA. You just have to select these the different options, whichever is applicable uh, for your purpose. So this tool is based on the recently published article, which has been submitted in BioRxiv. So it's mRNA, mRNA ID. It's an open source platform for therapeutic mRNA design and optimization strategy. So this is uh, from uh, the group of Danny A. Beton. Okay, so I hope guys this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your kind attention.